Red McGuffin Reviews. Thomasine and Bushrod, 1974. This was available on Talking Pictures, a satellite channel, with great movies that are hard to find. This is action, crime and romance. Our director here is Jordan Parks Jr., who also directed Superfly, Three the Hard Way, Aaron Loves Angela and The Bush Trackers. Our actor, writer, producer here is Max Julian. He's the star of this, uh, along with Bonadetta McGee, who plays Thomasine. Uh, Max plays J.P. Bushrod. And Max Julian also wrote Cleopatra Jones. And he was also an actor on The Mac, Getting Straight and Uptight. So this starts off with Bonadetta McGee, Thomasine. You find out she's a bounty hunter. She brings her captive to U.S. Marshal Bogarty, played by George Murdoch, and notices a poster on the wall of her old boyfriend, J.P. Bushrod, and she decides to go looking for him. She thought he was dead. There's a big bounty on his head, so she decides to try and find him. Now, Vanessa McGee, you may have seen in Great Silence, Blackula, Daft in Africa, the Eager Sanction, Repo Man, and To Sleep With Anger. And she's great in this, a real star presence. And I feel a stronger actor than, J than uh, Max Julian. So she carries the picture a lot for me in this. Until we get Glenn Truman, who arrives in this later on, as Joe Mo. And, uh, George Murdoch is our main bad guy in this. Well, for a while, for most of the movie, he's U.S. Marshal Burgundy. You may have seen him in The Mac, Breaker Breaker, Star Trek V, Timescape, Orange County, and he's been in so much 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s TV. Uh, you're bound to recognise him. He'll be very familiar to you. Getting a uh, film set in 1911. It's the 21st century. We've got automobiles in this instead of horses. When they meet up, eventually meet up, they decide to go on a crime spree. But first of all, Bushrod needs to get revenge on a real bad guy that uh, killed his sister. And the bad guy is Adolf Smith. And uh, he takes him out in a great uh, shootout. And... We know that Bushrod is takes no prisoners, and once he wants revenge, he gets it. So, so yeah, there's, a, there's some thrilling shootouts in this. Um, as the movie goes on, when Bushrod and Thomasine go on their 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 crime spree, we find out that Thomasine wants to settle down. She wants the money to settle down, get a house, start a family. As the movie goes on, we feel that Bushrod isn't ready to settle down yet. And this, this issue with the two of them could, him, him not wanting to settle down and Thomas he wanting to settle down could tear them apart again. Later on in the movie, they, there's a character called Joe Mo J. Anderson comes to the rescue and Glenn Terman plays Joe Mo. He's a great addition to the, the cast here. Um, you nearly feel like we'd love to see a spin-off of the adventures of Joe Mo. Um, you may have seen Glenn in Cooley High, JD's Revenge, Gremlins, A Different World, Men of Honor, Sahara, The Wire, and Super 8. And this actor is like George Murdoch. Once you see him, you'll know him, and you'll probably think of something he was in that you've seen. When we do get to the, the end of the movie, there's a great... well. Our characters are chased all through the movie by Marshall Bogarty. There's some lucky escapes through it, and we get a great set piece at the end where we find out that uh, just before that, we find out that Thomasine is pregnant, and Bushrod is very happy about that and come to terms with maybe settling down and changing his ways. But there's a great shootout at the end of this 
which feels like Bonnie and Clyde again, but at least Bushrod gets a bit of payback. And you'll see what I mean when you watch it. I don't want to spoil it too much. Yeah, if you can get your hands on this, I would recommend it. Everything is on point here. Directing, score, actors. And yeah, if you like Bonnie and Clyde, you like this. It's a, it's a new spin on that whole uh, crime romance. And uh, yeah, action sprinkled in there. I'd give this a... I'd give this a three, three out of five, and check it out, Thomasine and Bushrod. Fred McGuffin has reviewed Yeehaw!